we have discussed the various stages of meiosis till pachytene. So in pachytene, we saw that chiasma formation takes place. Chiasma formation is when the non-sister chromatids after crossing over with the help of enzyme recombinase fuse. That means here we say that the crossing over takes place and the genetic material gets exchanged. And after this would take place the next stage. So with this we will uh, go to the next stage. So what has happened so far is the chromosomes they pair in zygotene, the homologous chromosomes and to hold them together there was synaptonemal complex which was formed. Each chromatid undergoes a vertical splitting and the two arms we call them sister chromatids and crossing over has taken place between the non-sister chromatids. Now this is the brief uh, change or these are the changes which we have written now. Now what exactly is happening here? We are saying that this chiasma formation is taking place that is crossing over and this is helped with an enzyme that is recombinase. So what exactly is happening here when this crossing over takes place and exchange of genetic material takes place? In this we add one term which is known as nicking. So what is happening is when the recombinase helps in fusion of this the pieces are broken and the genetic material gets exchanged. So here we also use one term which is called nicking. So nicking basically is breaking and exchange. So we have just called it exchange of genetic material but how is the process taking place? The non-sister chromatids they first fuse with the help of enzyme recombinase there is breaking of those strands and then after exchange they join with the help of an enzyme called ligase. So now after pachytein the next stage which takes place is <coughs> diplotein. So here we are shifting it on this side. So this stage which we are talking of is diplotene. Because I wanted this to stay here so that we are able to understand the next stage we are going in this direction. But after pachyte, the next stage is diplote. So now let us see what has happened in this. The exchange has taken place. And after the exchange, we would see that exchanged genetic material in those chromosomes. Nuclear membrane is still intact, is still as it is. It has not started dissociating yet. And the centriole, which were at one end, they are still here. That means the normal changes which take place in prophase of mitosis, we have not seen anything of that kind. So everything intact so far. This crossing over has resulted in exchange of genetic material and these chromosomes, their non-sister chromatids are still attached at the chiasmata or at the crossover point. The purpose of having the synaptonemal complex was to hold these two chromosomes together so that their non-sister chromatids can cross over. Now they have crossed over, they are still attached at this point. So even if the synaptonemal complex breaks, the chromosomes will still remain attached at the crossover point. So here, the synaptonemal complex breaks. Synaptonemal complex breaks. So now, the structure which is holding these chromosomes together, homologous chromosomes together, is no longer there. So what is going to happen? These chromosomes, if we are talking of this pair, they would start to move away from each other. So let me draw one chromosome. And these sister chromatids, they also would start to fuse because their job is now over. Here, 
what we see is these chromosomes they have moved away from each other here they were together because of the synaptonemal complex now they have separated but we made one chromosome solid so let me make this one solid and this one was the hollow chromosome and here exchange has taken place so what we are going to show is this empty part has joined the solid chromosome and this solid part has joined the empty chromosome so here we are seeing exchange of genetic material this is what we have written here that exchange has taken place and synaptonemal complex has broken so homologous chromosomes they start to separate separation of chromosomes is known as disjunction so they start to separate so synaptonemal complex breaks homologous chromosomes separate that is disjunction disjunction word is used at many places and it is always for the chromosomes moving away from each other or getting separated so here what we have seen is that the chromosomes are attached only at the chiasma or at that crossed over point otherwise they have separated the second one would also be the similar case the chromosomes would separate and again we made one hollow one and one was solid so here we would show again the chromosomes getting separated and we have to show that exchanged genetic material same case here so here we are showing exchange genetic material and the chromosomes are separated now how is this connection this crossover going to break when this crossing over takes place we said the non sister chromatids they would come closer and with the help of recombinants they were to fuse here so are they going to separate like this the way they fused it is not the same case when they fuse they come like this and when they separate the arms they move away from each other come to the tip and then get separated this is like a zipper movement when we want to open a zip there are two sides two parts of it and it is attached with the help of a clamp so if you want to open the zip these two strands would separate only when the clamp comes to the bottom so this is the crossover separation would be like this coming to the end and then separation this is called terminalization this process starts here and gets completed by the beginning of the last stage of prophase 1 so what happens here is terminalization starts and terminalization would help in separation of these chromosomes but they separate like a zip the two strands would separate after they come to the end so here it starts it gets completed by the beginning of the next stage that is dikinesis so what has happened in prophase 1 so far is mainly exchange of genetic material and exchange of genetic material results in recombination and because of that there is variation and we know variation is very essential for evolution and that is how the gametes would have different recombinating uh, dna or genetic material so now after this would come the last stage so let us talk about the last stage now so after diploty now the cell comes into the last stage of prophase 1 that is dikinesis so this is the last stage of prophase 1 that is dikinesis and in this stage all those changes are going to take place which are normally the changes of prophase of mitosis that means the nuclear membrane is going to dissociate and disappear the centriole which already underwent splitting in s phase of interphase would start to move towards opposite poles spindle fibers would appear everything in mitosis 
we made prophase as early prophase and late prophase here we are going to be showing all the changes that take place in prophase of mitosis in one stage only that is dikinesis so now what has happened is the nuclear membrane has dissociated and completely disappeared the centrioles they have moved to opposite poles and from the centrioles we start seeing these smaller fibers radiating which are the aster rays and the spindle fibers also become visible so spindle apparatus is formed the chromosomes they are attached to the spindle fibers because now the spindle fibers are going to move them and bring them to the equatorial plate but the chromosomes which we are going to be drawing here are with the exchanged genetic material and now these sister chromatids are not going to be visible but what is visible is the chromatid which is having double dna so let us show this exchanged part in this chromosome and say here is one more and this one was the solid chromosome and it has this exchanged part similarly one chromosome having little exchanged part and another chromosome which was solid and having this exchanged part so this is how the chromosomes are and they are attached to the spindle fibers so that they can be moved to various regions so now exchange of genetic material is visible spindle fibers are visible spindle fibers are attached to the chromosome the centrioles are at two poles and we start seeing the asters also so what are the changes which are visible here are typical prophase changes nuclear membrane nucleolus er golgi all membranes and the structures have dissociated and disappeared but as we said in the beginning we would be emphasizing only on the nucleus so nuclear membrane dissociates and disappears then aster formation takes place aster formation takes place and as it is an animal cell there are two asters again amphiaster spindle fibers appear and the chromosomes are also visible in the with their exchanged genetic material so here we see chromosome with exchanged genetic material so this is what is seen in dikinesis which are actually all the changes of prophase so in five sub phases of prophase 1 leptotene thickening condensation started and we saw those beaded threads then zygotene homologous chromosomes pair to hold them together synaptonemal complex was formed then pectin where this chiasma formation crossing over uh, takes place then diplotin where the synaptonemal complex breaks exchange has already taken place and the homologous chromosomes start to move away and the last stage of prophase 1 that is dikinesis in which all those changes which take place in prophase of mitosis are seen here spindle fibers are visible aster rays are formed that means before the aster formation spindle fiber formation the membranes have also dissociated and disappeared after prophase 1 now this cell is going to enter into the next phase of karyokinesis that is beta phase 1 so meta phase anaphase telophase those are going to be one those are going to be the next changes which we will take up in the next segment